Imagine being able to buy a home for $50,000 in a first world nation. That's less than what it costs for some high-end watches out there or even some high-end bags. But rock stars, this is no longer just a concept. Amid skyrocketing property prices, many Americans are struggling to afford traditional homes, pushing housing out of the reach for millions. In this video, we're going to explore how this ambitious plan with houses costing 50,000 US dollars aims to disrupt the housing market. And we'll also explore whether it can realistically address the u.s housing crisis rockstar academy we change the game flip your work and stay the same from dreams to reality build your name Welcome to the Rockstar Academy and thank you so much for clicking play when this video popped up. Now, let me tell you what you can expect from this video today. First, we're going to talk about the vision behind this $50,000 house. Then we're going to dive into the technology, the sustainability and other aspects of this house. We'll also discuss the affordability when compared to the traditional house and the potential economic impact. And we'll also talk about the challenges faced in making these homes a widespread reality. Rockstars, let's start with the vision. Now, as you know, the global housing crisis is no secret. Prices in urban areas have skyrocketed, making home ownership nearly impossible for most people out there. Meanwhile, homelessness is on the rise and traditional construction methods are slow, they're expensive, and they're unsustainable. At this point in time, we're shopping for a two-bedroom apartment in Florida for investment purposes. And the best we're seeing from a price perspective is $500,000 US dollars. How many young persons or up-and-coming professionals can afford that? And I live in Jamaica. It's no different here either. There's this new development in Montego Bay called the Pinnacle for a two bedroom apartment. You'll need to spend over 530,000 US dollars. And here for a three bedroom apartment in Kingston, you'll need to spend over 870,000 US dollars. Who can afford this? Which is why we need to fix this. The question, however, is will these $50,000 houses solve the housing crisis in the US? and later other parts of the world? That's the question that we're going to attempt to answer. Now, Elon Musk, in collaboration with Boxable, introduced the solution. And this is a $50,000 foldable modular home that I'm showing you here on screen. It's eco-friendly, it's quick to assemble, and packed with advanced technology. And Rockstars, if you don't know who Elon Musk is, he's the innovator behind Tesla and SpaceX. And he's why I can stay connected using Starlink anywhere across the world, even if the local network providers aren't working, especially here in Jamaica. Musk in recent times have set his sights on transforming how we think about housing. His $50,000 foldable home, it's not just for temporary shelter purposes, but a modular, high efficient home. As you can see here, Rockstars, it's compact and modern. And as such, it could actually provide a significant breakthrough in providing affordable housing for young professionals. It's great for disaster relief efforts and anyone looking for an energy efficient portable home, this may satisfy your needs. Now let's explore some of the key features. The setup is fast. You can put it all together, believe it or not, in less than one hour. There's no months and possibly years of construction and cost delays and cost hikes and contractors stealing your money. 
none of that stuff. It's also portable. These homes can even be transported attached to a Tesla car, making it very easy for you to move anywhere. They are eco-friendly, which is extremely important to me. Built with sustainable materials, these homes are designed to have minimal impact on the environment. I actually can see myself retiring in one of these homes. Not when I'm younger and you're growing a family or raising a family, but definitely for me, as I get older, I need less space and this would be ideal. Can you imagine me attaching it to my vehicle at right now I'm about 50 years old. Let's say I'm about 65, maybe 70, still able to drive. And I decide mm, I'm going to Treasure Beach for the weekend. And I call Jake's and I say to them, can I park my house in your parking lot? Tell me what the cost is. And they give me a little bit of money because they can't charge me the same as they would for a hotel room. And I just park it there in a safe place with security and I sleep there. And the next week I say, you know what? I feel like going to St. Mary and I reach out to someone and I ask them if I can park it in their yard and I pay them a little money and I'm in St. Mary sleeping in my own space without packing a bag and packing anything because I'm not a big fan of RVs and you don't see them a lot here in Jamaica because I'm claustrophobic and those small bathrooms, I know it's gonna get to me, but I think I can tolerate these bathrooms here as they're a little bit bigger. Now let's talk about how this compares to traditional homes. From a cost perspective, it's significantly cheaper at 50,000 US dollars compared to a starter home in most places, which is about 250,000 US dollars these days. Even even here in Jamaica. Set up time, one hour. The typical home, three months to in some cases even two years, praying that you don't get robbed by contractors or builders. From an energy efficiency perspective, it's solar powered, so you will not be paying any electricity bills. And when compared to a traditional home, you're gonna have several bills to deal with, and usually your heating, your cooling, and your electricity overall are some of the highest ones. From a mobility perspective, it's transportable, as I just shared with me going from Treasure Beach to St. Mary, overnight without unpacking a bag or repacking. Importantly, it's disaster resistant. Whereas for traditional homes, this vary. You saw what just happened in Florida and the Carolinas with the hurricane that just went through there. It ripped apart many of the traditional houses. Now let's talk about a practical example. Imagine buying a traditional home for $300,000 with an additional $200 per month in energy utility. Over 10 years, that's $24,000 that you're gonna pay in electricity or in energy cost. And with Musk's home, you save on energy from day one. This for me, Rockstars, is very impressive because even this house that I'm sitting in, it's solar powered. So I would love for that to be a feature of anywhere that I choose to live. And if you're wondering, I wonder if Elon Musk is paying Odetta to see all these things? Absolutely not. I'm just sharing based on something that got me excited and I think I can help you to get excited about it. It may not work for you. You may think it's too small or your pride may be in the way because you want to live like the Joneses and you can't do that in a modular home and that's okay to each his own. I believe, however, that at the start of my life, I could have lived in a home like this and definitely closer to the end of my life, that would be the ideal place for me to live. And you may be able to identify or relate. Now let's talk about the technology and the innovation. What sets this house apart? The technology behind these folding homes is both groundbreaking and simple. It's constructed in a prefabricated factory and this design helps you to reduce construction costs and time. When the house folds out, it actually is transformed into a fully functional living space. And despite 
It's small size. It's loaded with the latest energy efficient systems. So let's talk about energy efficiency. One of the biggest draws to this particular house is the solar powered capabilities that come with every single one. It is powered by Tesla's power wall, storing energy generated from the home's solar panels, obviously, and homeowners can potentially live entirely off the grid, which means, like I said, earlier, you won't even need to pay an electricity bill and this will reduce or eliminate your monthly cost. From a sustainable living perspective, these homes also focus on sustainability with advanced insulation and renewable energy technology, ensuring lower energy consumption. Musk has always championed eco-friendly solutions, hence the Tesla, so I'm not surprised, but these homes are also designed to align with those values, offering a blueprint for zero carbon living. Now, Rockstars, nothing is perfect. So let's talk about some of the challenges. There are zoning laws and there's also public perception. Now, from a zoning law perspective, as promising as the solution seems, there are actually significant challenges that Musk and Boxable will need to overcome. One of the biggest hurdles is navigating the different zoning laws and building codes across multiple states throughout the U.S. Many regions have strict regulations regarding modular or foldable homes, making it extremely difficult for them to roll out this on a large scale. Now, as it pertains to public perception, which is another challenge, many modular homes still carry the stigma of being temporary or low quality. And as I said earlier, you can't live like the Joneses in a modular home. And unfortunately, we still live in a society where people are making decisions to impress others. I must tell you, however, that I believe that millennials will gravitate towards this because they're more minimalistic, at least the ones that I know. Take as an example, my son. Whenever I say to him, if we were to pass on, God forbid, and leave everything to him, what would he do with this house as an example? And his answer is consistently, I'm gonna sell it and move into a small apartment. I find that a lot of millennials, they're less attached to the big house and the furniture and all that stuff. They like to be mobile. So this will be right up their alley. But if you're a millennial watching and you disagree, let me know in the comments. Elon Musk's endorsement certainly will help to combat this, however, because he has a way of selling us on things that's pretty unusual. And I think this will be no different. So public opinion, I believe it will shift over time. Now, these homes have the potential to solve more than just the housing crisis. Their portability and quick assembly make them ideal for disaster relief efforts. Think about those families in the Carolinas or in Florida who just lost their homes to the hurricane. It would be so easy for them to set up this house and it won't be anything like their previous home. It won't mend the hurt and the pain for the loss that they have just experienced, but at least they'll have a roof over their head and not have to stay with family members or to stay in a shelter. So it solves that need as well. And it's not just about hurricanes, floods, wildfires. This gives a quick built shelter option, which is a need right now. Making these foldable homes ideal for displaced families. Governments and NGOs could also use these homes to tackle the homelessness and provide low income housing in urban areas. Listen, rock stars, affordable and sustainable houses is in high demand and this solution could potentially fill the gap. Now, I'm thinking it may disrupt the housing market a little bit if Musk 
is able to successfully roll this out. The traditional process of building a home is not only time consuming, as I mentioned earlier, but it's also costly. This prefabricated factory built approach could force traditional builders to innovate and ultimately drive down costs. Think about it. If this idea of a 50,000 modular home is catching on and more people are buying it, the traditional construction companies or those builders out there who are building these elaborate and expensive houses, if they're not getting the sales, what happens from an economic perspective? Remember demand and supply that we learned in business when we were in high school or college? That's what kicks in. The less demand, the more prices drop. If people are demanding modular homes more, traditional home prices will drop. So it might even fix things from that perspective as well. But we'll have to wait and see. Now, whether or not this can solve the entire US housing crisis remains to be seen. Whether or not it will reach other territories like Jamaica, that too is left to be seen. But it's clear that this could be a step in the right direction, Rockstars. And if you agree with me, you can write in the comments, solution, so I know where your thought process is. That said, keep an eye on this project as it develops because the future of housing just might fit into a 50,000 US dollar folding box. Until next time, walk good. Hey, it's so good.